Hello Pisces! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. Uh, Barbara Moore. What does Barbara Moore do? She has a companion book. She did the companion book, Barbara Moore. So she's on there too. I don't use it, but still, some people love that stuff, so I just want to make sure you know it's there. Uh, what is the website? Hello Brain! Llewellyn.com Llewellyn.com is the website, so if any of that information is interesting to you, feel free to enjoy it as you will. Maybe my brain will come online, which is ironic because it's good for readings when my brain is half offline, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, supportive Oracle Cards, You Are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. Elaine Marzen. There's a website for them, rockpoolpublishing.com.au. It's A as an apple, U as an umbrella. Okay. I, like, I've been up for a while, so why is... I don't know. Brain is just kind of like, eh, I'll see you later. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. This is Pisces. Is this going to be one of those that... I hope it's for me, too, because it looks good so far. I want these two. All right. It looks... All right, let's get a little farther. Let's get a little farther. Okay, something going on around somebody. Okay, what? You seem like you're okay. You seem very busy. Don't get over busy. Don't get over busy. And be careful. You want to stand up for yourself, but you want to stay objective. That, that's hard. I think that's difficult. Saying that as a Pisces, um, staying objective can be difficult when somebody... When you feel somebody's doing something to you you don't like. Um, I don't think this is bad. I think this is really good. You have some really, really good cards coming, but they're, when I'm seeing this with the Five of Wands, I feel like it's you standing up for yourself. But they're like saying, stay objective. Be careful to not fill in the blanks. Something about this might throw your emotions off. I'm saying this as a Pisces. Um, clearly an intuitive one. Not that every one of us are, but, you know, it seems like more than not. Um, when your emotions get thrown around the room a little bit or something screws up your energy, it's kind of like a song playing off tune. You may have the tune down, but it's just not quite where it's supposed to be. Just keep that in mind. You may be connecting to some things that are right, but there might be just, a, it may be just off color just enough so you think something is that really isn't. I don't know. Just be careful. Stay objective. Try to step back and stay objective. Um, and I'm getting... Don't hold back. Stay objective. Don't be too busy. Don't hold back. There's a lot of like instructions going on all of a sudden. Um, <laughs> all right. Be careful not to hold back. This is your challenge card, the four of... Um, pentacles which can be holding back like not expressing how you feel which these two are very tricky together you want to stay objective you don't want to back down you want to stay objective but you also want to voice what you're thinking so it's like if you think somebody's doing you wrong which i don't think that's what's happening here but for example if you think somebody's doing you wrong don't just stay silent and believe that's happening stay objective try to look at like well maybe they're not and then voice your opinion to make sure that you're like, hey, this happened and that, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look like that's going right for me. How is this supposed to go? Because I, you said that and I took it this way, but I'm not sure I, that's what you meant. What did you mean? Because it kind of hurt my feelings. So it's kind of like address things, stand up for yourself, but try to stay in the objective boat. That can be a challenge at times, but don't stay quiet. Do not stay quiet. Because I feel like there's good things coming towards you, but if, if you keep your voice heard, if you're heard, much better. Much, much better. Now, someone's going to tell you what they meant. Because there's something here that's like, it's almost like, I'm not feeling like somebody's being mean to you. But I feel like there's a misinterpretation in the sense of like, maybe... Just for argument's sake, and this can go many different ways. It could be business, it could be love. 
but the the one I'm going with is like if you're dating somebody, dating, and I'm using this purposely because maybe it's a physical thing, and you're like, well, I just think they're interested in, for the sex, just for argument's sake. And you're thinking that's all it is. I'm not sure that's what I want, but I think that's all they want. So I have to be like, so I'm like, so you're reviewing it that way. Like, that's all I think they want. So I'm going to react to that appropriately how I feel about that. Because I think that's, I literally think that's all they're interested in. So, and some people are okay with that. Some people are not. So that may be like, all right, well, that's all it is. That's all it is. Other people may be like, well, if that's all it is, I don't want it. Whatever's right for you is right for you. But they're saying if you communicate, you're going to find out that that's not exactly what's going on here. Because I feel like somebody's bringing something to you and you think they want only blank. The thing is, you're not off. They want blank plus something else. So if it's like you're dating somebody and you think they just want to have sex with you, it may be they do definitely want to have sex with you, but they also want more. They want more of a relationship and you're just kind of like, I wasn't seeing that. So that's, I feel like that's where they're saying be objective, stand up for yourself, but like be objective. Like don't just come, you don't want to come at this person like, listen, all you want is sex, so I don't know why we're bothering. You, you don't want to come across like that. You kind of want to come across like, you know what, it looks to me like you're interested in just the physical and that's not what I'm here for. And you could start a conversation that way. Something a little bit more, that's how it, that's how it looks to me. Um, if it's business, if it's business, because it definitely could be for a few of you, um, it's almost like you just want me here to do the work for you, but I don't see what I'm getting out of this. So, how's how's how do you pay me back? Like, how do I get something out of this? Like, I don't see what I'm getting out of this. You want all that work done, and I'm doing this for you, but what do you do for me? Just opening the door, kind of like I don't see where this is going to benefit me. I see you getting a lot, but where do I get something? Like, I'm not here to be your slave. Um, because I'm getting the, is that communication? What is this? Meeting with angels. It's very, there's communication going on here and somebody explaining where they really stand. They really have to explain where they actually stand, where they're truly coming from. They, the truth needs to come forward. They need to really express it. They also have to show a bit of their poker hand if they expect to win you over. Um, they're going to do that. That's very ironic. Because I feel at first they're holding it back. Okay, it's floodgates. It's floodgates. Okay, so... <laughs> go into this objectively the best you can. I mean, if this hits, it's a general read. I don't, we all know that. Floodgates. When I'm getting floodgates, it's kind of like... This, I don't know if it's overshare or just a lot at once because it's almost like I want to know this information that's kind of what I'm getting you kind of want to know this information but it's kind of like floodgates like like oh 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 okay oh right like so you think somebody is just for example we're going to do the dating things you think somebody's interested in just sex and they're like no I think we should get married at some point and you're like what <laughs> what like what are you talking about like I mean, he, they're like well somewhere down the line I think that maybe at some point I'm not saying today, tomorrow, or this year, but I'm just saying at some point, I think I like you like that. And you're like, oh. Like, blink, blink, blink. Oh. Um, or if it's like a business thing, like somebody's like, they're pulling you in to be a part of something, and you're like, I don't understand what I'm getting out of this. I'm doing all this for you. Where, where, where does this pay me? Like, where do I get something? And they're like, well, I'm hoping you're going to be my business partner at some point. And you're like, what? How? Who? Like, it's kind of like, I didn't see that coming. It's like left field. Like, I wasn't even thinking that. Like, oh, you think I'm going to be... Like, how was that going to come together? It's something that... I feel like it's sort of shocking. Kind of like, really, like floodgates. Like, it's kind of shocking. Like, oh, it's almost like you see the floodgates opening, so you know it's coming. But you're it's a lot to handle. You can handle it, though. I get that. Um... Because I do see that your reaction to this, this is why I keep going down the love thing, the lovers, like, even if it's business, this is meaning you, it's exactly what you want, passing the test, good things. Um, if it's a dating thing, it's like, well, actually, if that's long-term goal, yeah, I'm looking for somebody to be that long-term. Like, if we get to know each other, if we really match up that way, 
not today, tomorrow, or this year, but a couple of years down the road, yeah, that's kind of where I'm heading at some point. I, that's the type of person I'm looking for. You're like, actually, that matches. Down the road, I'm, lo I'm looking for somebody who matches me that way. I'd like that. Um, so it's kind of like it matches, but at first you're like, I wasn't expecting them to go there. And then they went there. And you're like, actually, yeah, I mean, I'm not guaranteeing anything, but yeah, I like that idea. Oh, they have a lot to offer you. Oh, wow, they have a lot to offer you. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. This is all hidden in peace. This is, like, really... Like, this is really... Um, I don't know how to explain this. It reminds me of, like, comfort food. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it feels really... This person has a lot to offer you. If it's business, if it's romantic, if it's something else, you know how this is hitting. Uh, if it's sitting with you, of course. Um, this person has a lot to offer you. And the peace with it is kind of like... How do, like They feel like you add to the asset. Like you add to the situation. And they trust you to help them not only keep it, but to add to it and enjoy it with them. Whatever this is, they have a lot to offer. I almost feel like this is a mystery. Like I feel like it goes a lot. It depends on where, where you're coming from. It depends on who you're... This person, whoever it is, they have a lot to offer. That's the short of it. It's like it's whipping around in my brain. There's a lot of different ways. The short answer is it's good. You're going to like it. You're going to like it. <laughs> um, that's hidden, though. And I'm getting the hierophant with them which is very Earth-like. Well, it is considered an Earth card because of the Taurus connection. Um, they're going to slowly but surely show you what they have to offer. Um, the more they trust you, the more they're going to show you. But the thing is, I don't think trust is going to be an issue at all. I just feel like you're natural who you are. Trust is just going to... I just feel like trust is coming for you. How... Who you are as a person is naturally coming forward to them. I feel like they can trust you without a problem, and you're going to show that without even trying to. Whoever this person is, you're going to show them that they can trust you, but you're not. it's not like you're going out of your way. I don't feel like you have to go out of your way for it. You just, who you are is showing them that they can trust you. And the more comfortable they get, the more you're going to see all this bounty in the background. There's a lot they have to offer. Business personal, whatever it is, they have a lot to offer you and they feel like one of the reasons they want you a part of this is not only because you fit, but you can help them secure it and keep it as well as enjoy some of it yourself. You're a piece of that. You add to the value. You're a piece of this great asset. Um, you, you fit in perfectly for them. There's a lot to be done, but I don't think it's going to be bad. I think you're going to enjoy your piece of it. Um, It feels like, as a Pisces, like we can get over, overrun, what do you want to say? Overrun, overdo it. I don't see that being an issue here. This person also seems to be, especially with the Hierophant energy, they like to regulate things themselves. So they, they do have a control thing there. I don't think it's bad for you. Because um, when I'm feeling their control energy, it's more like, all right, Pisces, don't do too much. Like, you know, and all right, Pisces, make sure you claim something for you. Make sure you get something for you. Like, it seems very nurturing. Kind of like, they don't want you to overdo it. They want to make sure you get, you know, make sure you don't, you know, don't walk by, don't walk by the table if you're hungry. Get something to eat. You know what I mean? They're like one of those. Like, are you thirsty? You know, are you feeling okay? Make sure you drink enough. They're, they're, they look out for you. They look after you a little bit. I don't think it's bad. Uh, I think, I think you like this. Because I don't think it's, like, imposing. I don't think it's imposing. I just feel like every now and then they just check in, like, are you eating enough? <laughs> are you feeling good? Did you get enough sleep? You know, did you get what you needed over there? Like, they check in. I feel like they they're, they check in with you like that. Very caring. Very nurturing. Um, I feel like this matches Pisces very well. I mean, if we're going to be fair, Taurus, if, if it is a Taurus, which it doesn't have to be, but that energy is very complementary, complementary to Pisces. Um, they work well together, those two energies. So um, they are very complementary. They work well, usually. Stereotypical, like base Pisces with base 
Taurus, like if you don't have any other energies mixing in there, <laughs> just the base energies, I'm just saying. Not every Taurus and every Pisces are going to get along. It's just the ones who are the Pisces that are like more like that Pisces energy that more connect with that base Pisces energy versus the Tauruses who have the base Taurus energy more than likely will get along quite well. Um, there's more. There's like more, more. How much do you got going on here? How long has this been going? Like 15 minutes? Acceptance with the nine. No, that's the Ten of Cups. Like this is going to be like a partnership that's going to last a long time. And one of the reasons is this person is very respectful, very on the level. They know how to value people, and they're very nurturing. And I feel like you give back. You're this again that Pisces Taurus. Not that this person has to be a Taurus. I know I'm tripping on it, but um, it's a very symbiotic. Symbiotic. I don't know if that's the right word. Very complimentary. Give, give and take. Like you, what you give, you get back. What they give, they get back. Like it's a very circular, balanced, good energy, and it just perpetuates. It feels good. It's on the up and up. It's gonna last a long time. It's just kind of like, um, and it's weird with the the ten of cups and the acceptance, especially because there's rain and the acceptance. Even when things aren't good, you and whoever this is, you and whoever this is seem to just get tighter and just look out each, look out for each other just that much more. Even if you're not getting along with literally each other, you'll still consider each other's feelings. You'll still kind of be like, well, we're not getting along right now, but I know the other person is a good person. So it's a temporary thing and it'll pass. So I'm going to try to see it from their side of you because I know that they're not trying to hurt me, but this is definitely not working. Like both of you, whoever this person is, be it business or relationship, seem to always go to like this, um, well, let me try to see it from the other person's point of view because I don't think they have ill intentions for, for, for me, that type of thing, even when you're not getting along, which I th think is going to be extremely rare, not for nothing, with this connection. Um, and that might be why, because you always kind of consider the other's person, each of you considers the other person's point of view, which is why you normally don't have discord. It looks really good. It's like, this is really good. I hope I'm included in this. <laughs> I mean, they're general reads, so I hope, I hope I'm included in this. This is pretty awesome. All right, anything else with this? All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.